Hello, welcome to another vlog. Now, while you're watching this, I will be on a plane. No, I will have just landed in Sydney, but it will be Monday morning. So looking forward to seeing my auntie. Um, sad about leaving Jack and Socks the Fox for a month, but um, it will whiz by as it always does. Um, meanwhile, I'm leaving you because I may not, because my auntie's in hospital, I may not be able to do a vlog for a couple of weeks. Um, you'll understand, I'm sure. Um, things will quieten down when I get to Byron Bay, which isn't until the middle of May. Um, but I will do, um, I keep calling them stories, shorts on YouTube, so you know what I'm up to. Have I done? Not a very good headscarf tutorial, is it? Um... But yes, I'm leaving you for some entertainment to how my house looked last summer with some new inserts, things that I've had done since it was last filmed. So I hope you enjoy it and I'll be watching it myself because it will make me so excited about coming back for the start of summer in June. Are oh, those birds noisy? Jack standing there as well. Um, quick thing before we go into the um and i'm sorry there might be music under some of it and not under others you won't mind with you um i just have to do it quickly this week because so much to do but i just wanted to share this with you i mean this is just tinted moisturizer from garnier i saw it on amazon and thought well that would do for my travels because um it's got factor in it factor can't remember what but it's got some sun factor obviously i'll be putting on more factor in oz if the sun's shining um but yes just sharing that top tip very cheap doesn't look that great in this light i was very pleased in the bathroom mm, double chin bathroom mirror this morning anyway i'll um leave you with the house tour and i will see you in a couple of weeks or so i'll keep you posted thank you for supporting me thank you so much what would i do without you right on with the house tour welcome to susie's cottage by the sea an updated version so there she is nice and white i have a lovely neighbor on the next bit she's 88 and doing really well and i love her to pieces um there's the side gate and it wasn't meant to be a garden tool but look at look at this euphorbia it's gone completely mental since the day of constant rain um anyway i will do a proper garden tour later i think i need to go wider there we go that's better Anyway, it's rather gorgeous. Can you hear the birds tweeting? So many nests around. So that's the little corner. Now, you know I like collecting odd things, so I put that little white chair there. I think I've told you all this before. Um, I do have to have help. I cannot manage all this and the back on my own, so I've got a wonderful gardener who comes in once a month in the summer but look at those aren't they beautiful let's do a close up look at the gorgeous gorgeous is that clematis do you know i don't know what that is because i didn't put it in i think it's clematis i'll have a closer look you know i'm half blind and there's the beautiful we call him him rising the cormorant sculpture that I bought this year to support a dear friend who's a sculptress and I love him. So there we are, he's greeted us, in we go. Right, I won't take hours and hours. Put a bit of spring on the door. Uh, we're quite wide. There's the sitting room, we'll look at that in a minute. This is the room we don't ever discuss. You can have a quick look. You saw the before. Um, but look at it now. How gorgeous is that? So it's also a little spare room. We won't look in that cupboard under there. It's an awful mess. Um, but it's looking very tidy just for you. And there's some little bits and pieces. I'm very pleased with the styling. I hope you like as well. There's a pretend cat. 
and gorgeous piece of furniture I got from John Lewis. Um, and these two masks, that's a chocolate bunny left over from Easter for a friend. For Mary, you saw her. Um, these two masks I've had since the 80s from Bali. I'm just waiting till I can get... Oh, I should have asked my brother. Get my brother to put them up on the wall. Um, they will look lovely up there, won't they? Okay, let's start with the guest room. So my brother, my best friend's coming this weekend. There is a separate video showing you all the stars I've interviewed in my career in the 80s and 90s as a TV presenter and reporter. But you'll find that elsewhere. Anyway, boop, bet you know those two. Of course, how can we forget this important picture so close to the coronation? There I am chatting away to our king. Right, so this is the guest room. This used to be an orange room. I'm so glad I saved up and saved up and had this done about six years ago. I never open those blinds because none of my guests want light coming in and I worry now that they're stuck. <laughs> I'll see what my friend thinks when she comes here. She's very practical. So there's her bed, or my brother. It's constant visitors. Look at the outside though. Um, you can just see the sea. See, there it is. See, and all ready to go outside for your cup of tea, coffee in the morning. It's a fab guest room, isn't it? Especially in the summer. Cost me a fortune in the winter because of the underfloor heating. So guests not quite as welcome and a decent shower. Ah, so lovely, lovely having two bathrooms. What a treat that is. Um, right, so there's the hall. Not very exciting. Here's the kitchen. Now this hasn't been touched for 12 years. So it's still looking all right, isn't it? I have to put the basil there because there's too much sunshine and they keep drying up um, anyway i think you've seen this many times before but everything in here apart from the fridge that had to be replaced about five years ago everything in here is 12 years old and i'm not going to upgrade the kitchen much as i would like to because people always want a new kitchen so this is the lovely outdoors where i can sit where we can sit with a little drinky of an evening or a coffee in the morning. Um, I've done all these pots. I've got more drought resistant plants. Um, and that's the famous trug that was at the bottom of the pool, <laughs> thanks to my brother. More daisies bought. Pond is gorgeous. I'll be swimming in that a lot. And do you want to close up? I just love my. Oh, that's not worked. There we are. I just love my little animals around the garden. That's without the foxes. So I'll show you just a sweep of the garden, but we're going to investigate it properly when there's more exciting things happening. It's actually just very, very green. It's a very, very green garden. Can't get anything to grow up that trellis every year. Come on. Hurry up, honeysuckle. So, you've seen this before because of my new blinds, but for new followers, they'll enjoy this. This is the dining room. And we get the bifolds wide open on a hot day. And there are the new blinds and two lemon trees. Again, everything in here is 12 years old, apart from these new wonderful blinds on the windows. And there's the much darker sitting room, which again, you've seen lots of times, but this has been completely updated a year ago. Yeah, it must have been during the first lockdown or maybe a bit before, but new table, new cushions, new rug, everything, there's Jack's bone, <laughs> everything to just update it to make it look cleaner, new shutters, new shutters is the secret and when you see upstairs you'll see I swapped horrible dark brown shutters why did I put dark brown in well not dark brown but mid brown um 
And there's the cormorant. I love looking at him. But yes, as you'll see when we go upstairs, new shutters in the bedroom as well, swapping ghastly brown for lovely white. So I feel very, very blessed to have found this house and to have had enough money 12 years ago to gut it. All this is extra space that was built on. Um, and I'm very, very lucky girl. So I'll leave you with the view before we go upstairs. The only other major thing I've done is to put new stair carpet up the stairs. Because I thought Jack was on his last legs, but of course he's not. And this was done a year ago and I've just had them cleaned. Look at that beautiful view, can you see? It's my family, it's a bit dark. Me as a baby, my brother as a baby, our oh, mummy. Uh, there's me as a baby. It's my wonderful stepmother. My other bro is there's my dad. Uh, my other bro isn't there though. I must do something about that. God, it was filthy from him. What a stupid colour to get with a black grubby dog. <laughs> Much as I love him. And here's all my art that... I really love and everybody adores this lampshade and there's my favourite, let me take it from the other side. That's probably one of my favourites from an Australian artist and if you go down there there's another limited edition of the Beatles and my lovely cow. I think that's limited edition as well. So, as you can see, I love my art all the way up the stairs. Um, and, oh, there's Brighton. That's a Brighton artist. Very difficult to do this and walk. I don't want to fall down the stairs. So, that's a Brighton artist as well, that lovely blue. Um, so, I hope you enjoyed the stairs. Now, on with the rest. Okay, this is the spare room, which is now was the spare room but is now the dressing room. Jack likes sleeping on that jacket, so I've left it there. So um, I've opened one cupboard so you can see how fairly well organized I am, all color coded and shoes that I don't wear often up there and lots of drawers. Um, obviously it's tidier than normal. This is one of my favorite pieces, whoops. But look what I've changed it into. It's my, this is what I'm wearing all the time, cupboard. Whoops. Ow. I just stubbed my foot. Here we see the downs through the windows. It's lovely, isn't it? Whoops. If only I could film it for you. There we are, they're the downs in the distance. Very nice, I've got you on wide so you can see everything. This is the bathroom. I haven't changed anything here. Love a bath. Lovely sink that I found. And the original people who helped all the renovation, the house was gutted when I moved in 12 years ago. He built that, that was an awesome job. Can't say the same about the rest of it, but we won't go there. Everyone has one terrible building story and a lovely shower. Now this is for those who are new followers who were all com commenting on my last house tour. This is how different my bedroom looks now. I was quite horrified that you were all saying how much you enjoyed the house view and I thought, oh my God, I've done so much to it since then. So this was me changing it and getting away from the red. My interior designer friend, Janie, Janie Lee, I'll put her details below, thought it was really important to let that picture pop out. And we found a gorgeous creamy paint made locally in Lewis, non-toxic, totally eco. I'll leave the details below. And see how hot it is, bare feet, bare feet. Um, and it matches the original painted floorboards beautifully, but how different is that to 
the original room which looked so cluttered with all that red. Now we just have little pops of red. Right. Well, actually, are there any pops of red? There aren't really, are there? Lots of pops of blue though. That's fairly new from an art gallery in Brighton. And that, I painted that. That was ordinary, this ugly colour wood and I painted it to match the walls and that's where I hang all my necklaces. So that's the upstairs folks. Oh, and another wonderful view from here, but I'm not allowed to build outside and I really don't want to go and stand on it and stare into people's gardens, but look at that view. So lucky. Will I ever move? Probably not. Um. Anyway, yes, hope you liked my lovelies.